If you have this, you will not be ashy. Trust me. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. We're gonna be talking about my fall must have products that you need in your life, all right? Now, fall is my favorite time of the year. I love the scents, I love, you know, the products that I use, and I feel like this is something that you guys will probably benefit from. I wish I did a little bit earlier though, in October, November, but better late than never, all right? So, when I tell y'all I have a lot of products, I have a lot of products next to me. So let's just get into it. Make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe before we do start, and let's jump into the video. So looking at everything, I'm gonna start off with the smell goods because typically I start off with makeup and skincare and all of that, but my channel is always about makeup and things like that. So I wanna start off with like candles and perfumes and body wash and skincare and things like that when it comes to fall. Okay, I'm excited. So the first one I do have is this mason jar. Um, I believe I got it from at home. So it is a mason jar and it has um, a little bulb in here. And this is where you put your candle melt or your wax melt. I'm not sure what they call it. So you put it on top and it just melts it, but it's so stunning when it's lit up. You guys, like this thing lights my living room up. So typically if I'm feeling like, you know, I wanna be cozy, I want it to be a little bit dark, I will light this up and also put my wax melt in there and it just smells good, it looks good. And it's just a vibe, you know, when it comes to my house, it's mostly like rustic, kind of farmhouse type of vibe. So this just fit perfectly. Like when I saw this, I was like, this is so stinking cute, okay? And like I told you guys, it has a bulb in the middle. Now alongside that, I do use these candle warmers. The brand is called Candle Warmers, and this is their Fireside Wax Melt, all right? Now when I got this, I thought it would smell more like, you know, like that burnt fireplace type of smell, but it's not like that. It is super sweet. It's cozy. Um, it has a little bit of cinnamon in there. It's just so good, you guys. I love this scent. And whenever people walk into my house, they're like, what does that smell? I'm like, this is it. So it smells so good. I love this stuff. And I have used it for days. Like the first initial um, set that I put on top of my mason jar, I have used those for days and I haven't changed them yet. So that says a lot, okay? These last a long time. So yes, those two together, awesome. So time for some candles, okay? I feel like candles, something about it, y'all, I have an addiction. Like, it's bad. Like, there's no reason why I have so many candles and I still always buy something when I go out. Like, it's sad, all right? <laughs> so the first one I actually got from Bath & Body Works, this one is so good. It is their coffee and whiskey um, candle and it has bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, hint of coffee. I mean, y'all, y'all. So when I got this, I was like, okay, let's see what it smells like, you know what I mean? This, this then lights up the whole room to the point where like sometimes y'all have to stop burning it because it will give me a headache, but it smells like Irish cream. Very heavy on the Irish cream and it's just the perfect mixture. I mean like when you hear the name coffee and whiskey, it's just like, what is that gonna smell like? But once you go ahead and open this and sniff it, it smells so good and it will light your house. I think I've said it like three times now, but it really will. This scent here, do not walk, run. Get it from Back and Body Works because I'm pretty sure it is not year round. It's probably just for the fall and winter time. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and stock up. I think they have their sale where they do like 50% um, off coming up in December. So I will get a lot of this one, all right? Now, the last candle I do have to share with you guys is from Bath & Body Works, of course, but this is like my OG scent. This is what inspired, you know, my love for fireplace, marshmallows, musky scents, and it is a marshmallow fireside candle. So they do have different packaging each year, it just depends, so this is the one that I picked up, and this one is just, when I talk about fireplace burnt, sweet scents, this one gives me life. It just does what it needs to and more, all right? Every time I light this, it just makes me so happy. It keeps me calm. It just, it brings me to a whole different place. And I know why I love this so much. It, it takes me back to like a memory, but um, this scent is my absolute favorite, all right? And I think they have it 
9th out of 10 most of the year or maybe it could just be fall and winter I don't know I just buy a lot of it so I always have this in stock um, but this is also one of my favorites but these two y'all if you're looking for some good candles go ahead and pick these two up so of course you guys already know I had to touch on the perfumes like I feel like perfumes is like my new thing I'm always on the hunt for a good one all right so I do have a couple to mention to you guys um the first two are from replica you guys know i love this brand i talk about them all the time but one of theirs is the by the fireplace perfume this one the best perfume the whole entire world like no no one's touching this one um it just has like the perfect hints of marshmallow um and they even included like the burning wood fireplace scent but it smells good on the body it's just like i don't know what they put in here y'all but it's so so good and the reason why i think i love this perfume y'all is because it does remind me of the marshmallow fireside candle i feel like that's why i love it so much like these two just just give me so much like happiness i don't know why but that's probably the reason why i really love this it is my favorite candle in the whole entire world and i need to get more because i'm almost out all right and the second one is also from replica this is your coffee break perfume this one y'all is so different and unique but i love it um it gives you like a coffee scent, especially if you walk into like a coffee shop. I feel like right now the coffee shops are so popular because of the fall, you know, coffees or the winter coffees that are dropping. Everybody's in there. It gives me that vibe, but it has a little bit more of a musk scent in there. It is just so good. Like they literally take whatever they name it, coffee break, fireplace, and put it in the bottle and just kill it every single time. So these two, I rave about always and then I also picked up the commodity milk plus bold um, mini travel spray so this one is also a musky fireplace marshmallow type of scent you guys you guys see the trend okay I love me a musk scent so this one is more on the sweet side it reminds me of by the fireplace perfume by replica but it's more a little bit more marshmallowy so when you go ahead and spray this initially it is spicy it is warm um you can smell the marshmallow but when it dries down throughout the day it gives me more of a musky marshmallowy scent um if you ever go ahead and try the replica one by the fireplace and it's too um strong for you then this one is probably your best bet because it does have a little bit more sweetness in there it is stunning. So the last five perfumes that I do have are all from Dossier. You guys know I love this brand so much. Um, I'm so glad I met them and just work with them because their perfumes are amazing. All right. So you guys don't know, they basically take, you know, the popular scents out there and dupe it for a cheaper price. So if you ever want to try like, you know, I don't know, the Killian perfumes or Chanel or you know Dior perfumes whatever is out there that you want to try but they're too expensive they probably have a dupe for it on their website all right now this is what the box looks like the first one I do have is my absolute favorite so this is their ambery saffron perfume now this one dupes the most popular scent out there you guys it is the baccarat rouge 540 perfume that it dupes you guys know i've raved about this i actually had um another bottle that i finished completely and they sent me another one thank god because it is my favorite scent this smells exactly like it every time i wear it people are like are you wearing that perfume i'm like no it's a dupe so that just tells you guys right there that they hit it on the head all right this scent Mm, y'all this scent just gets me every time i really do want to get the baccarat like the real you know brand that's one of my goals but this is just so it gives me like a masculine vibe but a little bit more sweet it just has like the perfect mixture of scents in there okay this one i'm gonna take care of it and i'll spray too much of it because i used the last one up real bad all right <laughs> okay so the next one i do have for you guys is also a very popular one i wanted to try the scent out for the fall time and this is their woody sandalwood perfume this is inspired by the Le labo centel 33 oude perfume all right i have always seen that perfume flowing around i just 
love how personalized that perfume is. I believe they even get your name on the box and all of that. It's just real fancy. So I did get the dupe from Dossier. This is their Woody Sandalwood, and this one smells so stunning. I didn't know what to expect when I first got this, but mm, it's very unisex. It's a little bit spicy, and then it dries into like a nice, fresh scent, okay? It's just everything in one but I do get more spicy with this one. So this is like the perfect fall time. For the fall, y'all, I love to smell low-key like a man. Like, give me the heavy, spicy scents. Those are my type of scents, all right? So the last two that I have from them, um, one of them is Woody Chestnuts, and this dupes the Replica by the Fireplace perfume. And y'all, when I tell you it is on point, it makes no sense, all right? If you cannot afford to buy um, the Fireplace perfume from Replica, if you can't afford this, go ahead and get Woody Chestnut from them. If y'all can't tell, I'm obsessed, all right? I try to hold off on it, not use too much, but this one, it is spot on. It is disgusting how spot on it is, but it's a good thing, I love it. Um, but it's so good. Gives me the marshmallow fireside type of feels. It is perfection in a bottle. I love that set. All right, and the last one is their Musky Green Tea Perfume. I'm not sure which one this one replicates, but I will put it on the screen for you guys. But this one is one of my favorites because it has like a fresh scent to it, a little bit musky, but not too much. So in case you wanna dabble into musky perfumes or kind of like, I don't know what to name them, I just always say musky. This is probably your best bet because it still has a little bit more sweetness in there and it gives you a fresh scent to your body. So I love this one for the daytime um, and then for the nighttime, I pretty much wear all the other perfumes because they are, they're spicy. They give me what I need. So yes, those are all the perfumes. Let's go ahead and move on to the next category. So for body wash, this one, I was on the hunt. And I mean the hunt for this one. Every store you go into it is sold out. You can't find it. It is ridiculous. So this is the native um, body wash in the scent Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla. You guys know I love marshmallows. So this one I have to go ahead and find. And I finally found it at one Target. They only had two left. So I have to go ahead and get both of them because... We're not doing this again. So this is so good. I really expected it to be more like, um, I don't know, just like more fireplace, but it gives me, it does give you toasted marshmallow. I will say that it gives you like a very just sweet scent, but it's a little bit toasted. I mean, it's like the name, of course. All right, let's just be for real. But this is so good. Every time I put it on my body and I'm showering, I just feel so happy because I finally found it and it's so worth it. And they have other fall scents too as well. So if you don't, you know, want like a marshmallow vanilla type of situation, there's more out there for you. But if you do love a fall scent that is marshmallow based, go ahead and find this honey because I'm pretty sure they don't have it all year. So yeah, go ahead and find that. Um, but now we're gonna move on to the body, okay? So after you get out the shower, you wanna put some lotion on, some body oils, all that good stuff. So the first one I do wanna mention is the Nivea um, Essentially Enriched Deep Nourishing Serum Body um, Lotion. So I only get this one. I've tried some other ones and they're not my favorite. This one here is so rich, it's so creamy. It gives you that shine you need. If you want your body to be glowing, go ahead and get this. Um, and like I tell y'all, there's just no reason to be ashy anymore. Like, there's no reason, all right? Go ahead, find you a good lotion. Don't get the dollar store ones because those ones will play you, all right? You go ahead and put those on, and then an hour later, you're ashy. You're like, wait, I just put lotion on. Make it make sense. This one will not play you. It will keep you moisturized all day. It is so good. I recommend this. I've been using this for years. You guys already know. So this next one is a recent pickup from Topicals. This is their Slather Exfoliating Body Serum and it does have retinol, lactic acid, urea, and squalene in there. This stuff here, y'all, is gonna be a game changer, especially for um, people who have like, you know, um, skin texture, things like that. This will help to exfoliate all of that off your body. And it's a lotion as well. I love it. So with this, it is so rich. I don't even wanna, you know, squeeze it for y'all because a lot comes out. 
even if you try to do a little bit it just it comes out but just know it is rich it keeps your body looking good shiny glowy i was so impressed with this um and it's found at sephora so if you haven't tried this one definitely go ahead and pick it up and the next one i actually do have for my brand beauty by chi chi so i love body oils um and when it came to body oils i wanted one that it wasn't too greasy that didn't leave you know um grease everywhere i'm not about that so mine has avocado and sunflower oil i make these for y'all and i also do it based off the season so this is the gingerbread one that we have currently and we also have a marshmallow one um a cinnamon one a pumpkin vanilla one like whatever you're looking for go on the website it's on there for you but I love this because when I go ahead and mix these oils, they're never greasy on the body, but they do hydrate my body and they smell so good. All right. You guys know I come with the scent. So, of course, when it came to the body oil, I don't play. All right. Um, but this is a gingerbread cookie one. And I've been loving this. I've been loving pairing this with my perfumes as of lately because this also has like a spicy note to it, you know, because it is gingerbread based. Um, and then also with my spicy musky perfumes. I mean, come on. It is the perfect mixture. So I have been loving this, of course. <laughs> um, and this last one is the Eucerin Intensive Repair um, Essential Oil Balm. So imagine body oils like this, right? Let's say you don't like to use um, body oils. This is like a solid form of it. So when you go ahead and open this up, it looks just like this and you take a little bit like so. Kind of has like the texture of Vaseline, but it's not like that at all. And then you rub it into your skin and it melts into an oil. So I have been loving this for areas where like, they basically need a lot of hydration, like my feet, y'all. This weather is cold now, it's cold, so I can't be out here playing myself. Um, but this has been helping to really just moisturize that area, keep it moisturized all day, and it's just so good. So. All of this, y'all, if you have this, you will not be ashy. Trust me. So now I'm going to move on to the face and also um, mention some skincare products that you need to stay hydrated and moisturized during this time of the year. So the first two are my milky toners, which I talk about and rave about all the time. The first one is the Thayer's um, Hydrated Milky Toner. This one, obsessed with it, is from the drugstore. And then also I do have the Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is their Hydrating um, Milky Toner Essence. So I just mix these two all the time, you guys. But this stuff is amazing for my face. Typically around this time of the year, my nose starts to peel, my forehead and my chin, but I lather my skin <laughs> every night with these two items because when I wake up in the morning, my skin is hydrated, it is plump, it is ready to go, all right? So these two I love, and also I can tell you guys all the time, it's like a filter in this bottle, all right? When you go ahead and apply it on your face, give it a couple minutes and look at your face again, your skin is gonna look flawless, all right? Trust me on this. So in addition to that, what I also use every night to really hydrate my face is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So this is what it looks like, and when you first get it, just go ahead and shake it up before you use it every time. But this is great because when I first saw this, I was scared. I'm like, this is oily. I'm oily, how is this gonna work? But there's something about this when you go ahead and put it on your face, it doesn't dry down greasy, it gives you a nice glow, but you can touch your face and things like that and not feel like, oh my gosh, like it's oily, you know what I mean? It dries out really nicely and also it plumps and hydrates my skin. So I lather my face and my neck in this every night and wake up to bomb skin every time in the morning. So this has been my go-to y'all because I told y'all this weather, it is cold, all right? So when it comes to a mask that really hydrates my skin, I love the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is what it looks like in the blue bottle, but this is really good for days where like I need a lot of hydration. I will go ahead and put this on at night, um, let it do a thin. I know you can kind of wipe this off if you want to, but it's a mask that like you can leave on your skin, you know, throughout the day. So I will go ahead and put this on, sleep, and then wake up the next day 
and it will fix whatever issues I was having. So if my nose is peeling or my, you know, my chin or whatever it is, I will put this on at night and then the next day it's gonna look good. And in case you've never tried this, it kind of has like a lotion-y look to it or feel to it. So that's why I tell you guys, you can just rub it in like moisturizer on your face and it will do what it needs to do. And then the last thing that I do have for the face is the Laneige Lip Sleep and Mask. I have one in my car, in my purse, in my bathroom, in my living room. I have them everywhere, all right? So this one specifically is the Apple Lime one. So it's given, you know, it's given fall. But I have so many different, you know, flavors and scents out there. Um, but this is so good for your lips, all right? I know a lot of my friends, I realized over the weekend were telling me that their lips are so chappy, they're trying Vaseline and all this stuff out there and it's not working. I say go ahead and get this. I love this mask. I love it at night, especially I will put it on and then wake up the next day to plump, hydrated lips, all right? So if you're struggling this winter or fall, um, you know, with dry lips, then this one, baby, this is what you need, all right? So now moving on to makeup, all right? We finally made it. Um, so the reason why I want to go ahead and save this for last is because you guys know my favorite products at this point, but I will go ahead and mention it in this video for you guys. So we're gonna first start off with foundation. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I rave about this all the time, and honestly, this foundation is best in the winter, summer, fall, spring, it doesn't matter, but especially for, you know, the winter time, for me at least, or the fall time, because it's a lot cooler outside, I don't have to worry about oil control, um, and honestly, I don't love foundations that are super mattifying, like, those I will wear in the summertime, obviously, to keep my oils at bay, but for the fall and winter time, I love lightweight foundations, and this one right here from the Dior is my absolute favorite, okay? It looks so skin-like, it lasts all day. Um, it is a normal to, I wanna say like it's for normal to oily skin, but even dry people can wear this as well. Like everybody wears this out there. Um, it's just a per foundation, it's never failed me, and it's just my favorite. I love it all year, just to be honest with you guys. Now this last foundation is actually a recent pickup, and I'm not sure how it will perform in the summertime, because you guys know the summertime is hot. But for now, it is doing what it needs to do. This is the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. I had this one in the shade um, Sienna, I believe. Yes, this one is in the shade Sienna. This is so stunning. So stunning. Um, it's, I will say it is, to me it's overpriced, like nothing should be $140, but at the same time, I see why it's so good. The way it just melts onto the face, gives you just enough coverage, looks so skin-like, so flawless. Um, like I told you guys, I'm not sure how it'll perform in you know the summer, but for now, for the fall and winter, it's just doing what it needs to do. So I am so happy with this foundation. It has become one of my favorites, and these two here is probably all I'm ever gonna wear, and they match perfectly too, so can't go wrong with that. So for blush, you guys know I go in and on blush all the time. Like all my blushes are either orange or orange, <laughs> pretty much. I love me an orange blush and what's perfect for the fall time than orange blush. So let's just jump into it, all right? The first one I do have is a NARS Exhibit A blush. This is what it looks like. It's more of a reddish orangey blush. It is so stunning. I actually have a little bit on my face today, like not too much, but y'all can just see how it awakens my face, right? It is beautiful. So I love this. I know like I told you guys I'm kind of late with this and I just found out about this this year, but this pigmented lasts all day. One of the best, really recommend this one. Um, the next blush I always mention is the Make It Forever one. This one, I will put the name down below because it's some random numbers, but this one is more of a peachy, orangey blush. Um, I love this for all year round because a peachy undertone is just so pretty, I feel like, on the skin. Um, and it's just a very beautiful, just pigmented blush. It lasts all day on me super super pigmented i didn't mention that already um and it's just stunning i love the way it looks on the face you just can't go wrong with this one and it has a little bit more of like a pinky undertone to it but trust me on the cheeks it does come off a lot more 
orange. Now the next blush I do want to mention is from Benefit. This is their butterfly blush and it has more of a shimmer to it. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I wouldn't even say shimmer, more of a sheen to it. But this one is stunning. Alright, I didn't expect this from Benefit because their blushes back in the day were ashy. So this is what this one looks like. It is so beautiful. I think it's even beautiful as well in the summertime, but just a nice sheen, you know, on top of your blush. Let's say you're wearing a super matte blush and you want to add a little bit more, you know, oomph to it. I would recommend this one, all right? Super, super pretty. Now, the last couple that I do have are cream blushes. So this one is from the Nessa Myricks. This is your Color Fix Matte Blush in the shade Carrot Top. It is super orange, you guys, super pigmented. And when you go ahead and swatch this one, honey, like, it makes no sense how pigmented it is. And look at that, look at that. Insane. So when I saw this, I was like, yup, I'm gonna go ahead and get it because I love an orange blush. So that's that one. And then also we do have the Milk Makeup Blush, their cream blush in the shade Swerve. This one really surprised me. I know it's so little, like it's so little. It makes no sense, but it's so stunning on the face at the same time. So this is what this one looks like right here. I love this formula because it's so creamy and easy to work with. So I really, really, really love that one. A lot of people don't talk about this because I don't think they know about it, but if you do come across it in Sephora, go ahead and grab it. So these last two are more on the pinky red side. And the first one I do want to mention is the Rare Beauty Grateful Blush. And this is what it looks like. Now I know this color is more so for like the springtime, probably summer. Um, but I love it for the fall and winter time because it adds life onto my face, okay? You guys know during this time of the year we're a little bit, we're a little bit ghostly. We need a little bit of color to the face. So this one is the perfect like rosy um, color to the cheeks, all right? Almost like you're cold outside, like when you get like a little bit of, you know, rosiness to your cheek, this is what it gives. So this is what it looks like. It's this one on the bottom. And I wear it all the time, y'all, like all the time. It is so pretty. And I love her blushes because a little bit goes a long way. It's pigmented. It looks so natural in the face. I really, really love this one. Um, and the last one is from e.l.f. This is their Maldives blush. Let's see if I can find the name of it. I always lose the name, y'all. Yeah, it's the Maldives blush. And it's very red, y'all. Like, I love this with a dark red vampy lip. It's always given. So this is what it looks like when you go ahead and open this up. And I love this because I finally figured out how to work with this. So you just scoop a little bit out, kind of blend it onto the back of your hand, and then use a brush or a sponge, and it just works every time. So this one I'm going to swatch right here. On the very, yeah, this is it right there. That's what it looks like, that color. It is so pretty and pigmented. And it's only $6, y'all, like, that is crazy. So, yeah, those are all the blushes. I know I could have added more, but I was like, Chi you need to calm down, all right? <laughs> So when it comes to highlighter, I'm typically not a fan of highlighter, but I feel like in the winter slash fall, I can kind of get away with it because I'm not as oily. I'm not as, you know, greasy looking because y'all, I'm very oily. So this one from Refi, it is a recent pickup, but I am obsessed with it, okay? I don't even need to swatch it for y'all because I have it on my face today, but it gives you that wet look. Like, do you see that? wet look I am obsessed and typically I can't wear a lot of highlighter like I told you guys in the summer but right now I'm gonna go crazy I'm gonna go ham because I deserve this all right this is so good it's stunning it looks beautiful on the skin it is a perfect fall slash winter highlighter for me at least because a lot of them out there um I just, I don't know, I would like a lot of highlighters, but none of them did it for me. This one's texture is kind of, has a little bit of tackiness to it, which lets me know it's gonna last all day. So it's very long lasting, 
um, gives you that wet look and it's just so perfect, especially for my oldie girls. Like, this is a time to wear highlighter and go crazy with it, all right? It is beautiful. I love it so much. Um, and now the last category is the lips. Okay, we have to talk about the lips. So, I have a couple that I wanna mention. I have a lot more than I thought, but let's just get into it. So, um, when it comes to lip liners, the only lip liners I use are from my brand because I feel like a lot of chocolate lip liners out there, the undertone just never works for me. So, these two right here, they're so short because I use them all the time, but their names are Allure and Silhouette, all right? Super chocolatey colors. Now, this one is the one that I have on my lips today. It is so dark and vampy. And um, when you go ahead and swatch it, it is so dark, all right? If you've been looking for a dark, vampy lip liner, then this one here in Silhouette is for you. Like, I love this stuff. And I paired it with my lip gloss, which I will tell you guys in a little bit. So the next one is called Allure, and it's like that perfect chocolate color that a lot of people gravitate towards. This one is super popular on my website because it is a true chocolate color. So y'all can see the difference. Allure is a little bit more of your typical chocolate lip liner. And this one in Silhouette is your deep, vampy, dark chocolate lip liner. All right, Obsessed, of course. I know it's my brand, y'all, but honestly, the texture, the way it glides away, it lasts all day on the lips. It is just my favorite out there. So when it comes to liquid lipsticks, every time I wear this combo, everybody always asks me what I'm wearing on my lips. So this is a Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks in the shade Cork and Chocolate Wasted. So how I typically wear this is I will wear Chocolate Wasted all over and then put Cork in the middle, all right? So this one here is Chocolate Wasted. Really just beautiful, deep, chocolate color it is stunning and then we have cork which is a little bit lighter and i love mixing these two together like look at that look at that color it is so so pretty so imagine these two like an ombre effect on the lips it is so beautiful so I love that when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Um, and then another liquid lipstick I do want to mention is from Fenty Beauty. This is your underdog um, stunning lip paint. Every time I wear this one, everybody goes crazy and always asks, what is that on my lips? And then also the blush that I always wear with this is the e.l.f. Maldives blush because that combo, y'all I'm telling you, is so good. So this is underdog for those who are not aware. And I love this formula because it is not drying on the lips. It is super pigmented. Like, look at that, y'all. Look at that. So, so pretty. And it's this one here in case you are wondering. It is so, so pretty on the lips. 100% recommend. I don't know if they still have this, you guys, out there. But if they do, go ahead and pick it up. All right? Now, for um, lip oils, I love the Mirror Beauty lip oil, and I have so many shades, but I'll just, you know, we'll show you guys one today. This one is in the shade Sangria, and it is the perfect fall color because it is red. So I love their lip oils because you don't have to sit there and think about it, just apply it on your lips, and it gives you a nice wash of color. But then also because it is a lip oil, it will hydrate and moisturize your lips. So. I love this one. I have become like obsessed with them, which is why I have all the shades. So this is it right here. It's a little bit lighter, but it gives you a nice wash of color on your lips. It is so beautiful and they have so many shades out there, you guys. So I really, really recommend this one. And the last two that I do have, one of them is my Beauty by Chi Chi Chocolate Toast Lip Gloss, which is the one that I have on my lips today. When it comes to the fall time, y'all, in the winter, I always pull this out because it is a perfect vampy chocolate color. I feel like a lot of chocolate lip glosses out there just aren't dark enough. Like I need a vampy chocolate color. So I went ahead and created it myself and it's so good. I have it on my lips, so I don't need to swatch it for you guys, but y'all can see this color is just stunning, all right? And I go ahead and mix it with my lip liner in the shade Silhouette, and those two together is absolutely perfect. 
And last but not least, I do have the Givenchy um, La Rouge Deep Velvet Lipstick in the shade 35. And the packaging, y'all, like, come on. It is stunning. All right, so that is what it looks like. And you go ahead and open this up and it has a nice, beautiful color. And I think I mentioned it is in the shade 35. So this is what it looks like. Super pretty, y'all, for the fall time. Like, look at that. Creamy, go ahead and pair it with a, you know, chocolate lip liner and it's absolutely stunning. Okay, so yes, you guys, we made it. <laughs> all these products. Um, but yeah, these are all the products that I feel like when it comes to the fall, you need to go ahead and pick up and try. Of course, let me know down below some of your favorite products out there when it comes to the fall and winter time. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun. And before you leave, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.